nothing really affects comedy. People always need it. They need it uh, so badly, and they don't get it. It used to be you would go home at the end of the day. Most people would go, oh, Cheers is on. Oh, MASH is on. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore is on. All in the Family's on. You just expect it. There'll be some funny stuff we can watch on TV tonight. Well, guess what? Where is it? This is the result of the extreme left and PC crap and people worrying so much about offending other people. Mm -hmm. You just heard a snippet from comedian Jerry Seinfeld's appearance on the New Yorkers podcast, and he is now, I believe, the 897th comedian to complain about cancel culture, or as he puts it, PC crap, which is interesting for the fact that he was saying the opposite just a year ago. Hey, Jerry, do you think cancel culture is hurting comedy? Well, it seems like he had a change of heart. And before he said that, he said something different, which we'll get to. But I take it that he told another joke that probably nobody laughed at. And rather than being introspective and trying to write better jokes, he chose to just cite cancel culture as the reason why nobody's laughing at his shitty jokes. Because that's what a lot of washed up comedians are doing these days, including Jerry Seinfeld. And again, we'll get to that example here. But before we uh, dissect his comments further, there is more from that interview that I want to play. When you write a script and it goes into four or five different hands, committees, groups, here's our thought about this joke. Well, that's the end of your comedy. They move the gates, like in skiing. Yeah. Culture, the gates are moving. Your job is to be agile and clever enough that wherever they put the gates, I'm going to make the gate. He's just wrong. I'm sorry, but his comments suppose that edgy TV shows couldn't exist today because everybody's just become too woke or easily offended, but they do. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is probably one of the most offensive shows ever to be aired on television, and it's still running. The same is true for shows like South Park and Veep. They have some very edgy jokes. Comedy shows exist despite offensive jokes that very much offend people. But if what he's saying sounds like cope to you, you'd probably be correct because it's not like people aren't laughing at his jokes because they're too offensive. They're not laughing at his jokes these days because they're just not funny. But he assumes that the lack of laughs is due to people taking offense. And I say this about him because he gave an example of a joke that he told that didn't land in a 2015 episode of Late Night with Seth Meyers. And he claims that it was because the joke was too offensive. Let's watch. I, I, I do this joke about um, uh, the way people need to have the, justify their cell phone. I need to have it with me because people are so important. All right. You know, I said, well, they don't seem very important the way you scroll through them like a gay French king. <laughs> you know, <it's> just... <laughs> so he claims that that's one of the edgy jokes that he told that sparked outrage, according to him. Now, I personally don't find that joke offensive at all. But most importantly, I don't find it funny. You're a boomer trying to find a clever way to criticize young people for being obsessed with their phones, but that's just not a funny concept to me. It's been done a million times, and you're not saying anything edgy or insightful, but he goes on to explain the response that he got to that joke. Now, pay close attention to the way that he describes the outrage that that joke supposedly sparked, because... um. It's not necessarily what it seems, at least based on his interpretation. I did this yeah. line recently in front of an audience. <laughs> and you can, comedies where you can kind of feel like an opinion. And they thought, yeah. what do you mean gay? What are you talking about gay? What are you saying gay? What are you, what are you doing? What do you, what do you mean? You know? And I thought, are you kidding me? I mean, we can't even. <laughs> you, I could imagine a time, and, and this is a serious thing. I can imagine a time when people say, well, that's offensive to suggest that a gay person moves their hands in a flourishing motion <laughs> and you now need to apologize. I mean, th there's a creepy PC thing out there that really bothers me. That explains so much because notice how nobody actually told him that they were offended by the joke. Instead, he assumed that they were offended because he said he was able to feel their opinion and assumed that they thought the joke was homophobic. He then goes on to say that he can imagine people saying it's offensive to suggest that gay men use effeminate hand gestures. But Jerry, nobody told you that they were offended and odds are they weren't offended. The joke is just not funny. That's why they didn't laugh. And don't take the fake laughter from Seth Meyers or from the audience who's literally told to applause and laugh as validation that the joke is funny because it's just not funny. But because he claimed that the joke didn't land because it was offensive, people just took that 
as fact. For example, if you look at the top two comments on that video, they say, to learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticize, Voltaire. Well, I guess that the caricature of a PC snowflake that Jerry made up in his mind rules over him, apparently, based on this. Another one says, Seinfeld is one of the cleanest comics out there, and the fact that he's hitting speech barriers is troubling. Very troubling. Yeah, it's almost like he made it up, and that's not actually true. But, I mean, this is just the thing that older, washed-up comedians say now. I'm sure that he's told funny jokes in the past, but he's past his prime, obviously, right? And rather than accepting that people just don't find jokes about airplane food funny, he lies to himself and tries to convince himself that the joke was just too edgy. That's why people weren't laughing. Sure, that's definitely the problem. It's not that your jokes aren't funny. It's that they're all offended and they just don't get your intellect and your humor. But I mean, he's not alone, again, because this is what a lot of comedians have been saying lately. They'll tell the 467th joke about pronouns and say they identify as blank, and then when nobody laughs because we've heard that joke a million times, they'll pretend as if nobody laughed because they were offended, when in actuality, it's just not funny. Don't blame cancel culture. Write better jokes, you fucking hacks. And I mean, if cancel culture was as big of a threat as comedians like Jerry Seinfeld say it is, then don't you think he would have been canceled after it came to light that he reportedly dated a 17 year old when he was 38? Because I mean, if that doesn't get you canceled, then I don't know what will, because that's pretty fucking creepy. But he hasn't been canceled. In fact, he just landed an interview with The New Yorker, as you saw. Furthermore, explicitly bigoted comedians like Dave Chappelle have not been canceled. He's still getting more specials on Netflix. So you're still allowed to say offensive jokes. So I don't I don't understand, I guess, what the argument is, right? If you say offensive jokes, you don't want criticism. But again, like it's Jerry Seinfeld, so he's not necessarily saying things that are offensive, at least based on what he said offended people. So I guess that he's just like mad that people aren't laughing at his jokes. And I mean, like, if you go to the stand-up comedy section on Netflix, it feels like there's a new special every week called Triggered or Cancel This, No Flakes. And I find it so insufferable and pathetic that so many comedians won't just own the fact that their jokes are failing. People aren't offended. Your jokes are a failure. But I mean, failure is an inevitable part of the process of comedy, is it not? Some jokes are going to work, some aren't going to work. It's just something that you have to workshop and try with different crowds. And yes, there are times where jokes do offend people, but rather than instinctively denouncing the woke mob, you could try to understand where you went wrong and adjust your comedy so that way more people laugh at your jokes. Because I mean, if you want to be a comedian, the point is to be funny and make people laugh, right? So why wouldn't you want to improve if a joke that you tell doesn't land. I, I, like, I just don't understand. And Kevin Hart is a perfect example of this. Back in 2018, he was supposed to host the Oscars until jokes about him beating his son with a dollhouse if he were gay resurfaced. And as a result, the organization, I don't remember the name of it, that hosts the Oscars said that he needed to apologize to keep the gig, and he refused. So he lost the gig. And at the time, that got a lot of people talking about cancel culture, including Kevin, uh, Kevin Hart himself. But you know what he did? He reflected on that situation and he tried to empathize with the people criticizing him. And in a 2020 interview with Men's Health, he admitted, quote, with the whole Oscars thing, there was a big gap between what I thought the problem was versus what the problem really was, he says. He got angry, reacting as though the only problem was that people were calling him homophobic, which he feels certain he's not. Quote, I got 10 years where I made sure to not joke or play in the way that I did back then because it was a problem, he says. I don't care if you're gay or not gay. I'm a people person. I'm going to love you regardless. But now he sees a layer that he overlooked at the time that he missed a chance to condemn violence in every shape and form to anyone for being who they are. It wasn't until close friends like Wanda Sykes, Lee Daniels, and Ellen DeGeneres talked to me and explained what they didn't hear me say that I understood. Then I was like, oh shit, I did fuck up. Now, before you accuse him of caving to the woke mob or getting infected with the woke mind virus or some shit like that, it's not like he's suddenly saying that cancel culture is good. In fact, in other interviews, he said that cancel culture can be stupid at times and that he himself has been canceled three to four times, which kind of demonstrates that comedians just use cancel culture as a synonym for getting criticized. But either way, the difference between Kevin Hart and Jerry Seinfeld is that he's not hiding behind cancel culture as an excuse for his bad or offensive jokes. He had important conversations with people impacted by his jokes and understood that the jokes he was being criticized for weren't actually the kind of jokes that he wanted to tell because he was punching down and in effect hurting people. And he mentioned this again in an interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes. And here's what he said. Wanda Sykes said, 
there's people that are being hurt today because of comments like the ones that you made then. And there's people that will think it's okay to make those comments today based off of what you did then. It was presented to me in a way where I couldn't, I couldn't ignore that. So he was defensive at first, like a lot of people are when they're criticized, but he put aside his feelings and his ego, and he ultimately chose to learn and grow from that situation, which I find commendable. This doesn't mean that he's not going to tell jokes about gay people, but it means that the kind of jokes that he tells is probably going to be different going forward, because if the goal is to make people laugh, which is the point of comedy, then it's best not to do that by punching down, because you're just going to get less laughs. That's that's a fact, right? He's not saying gay people are untouchable. He is saying that what he says about gay people and how he jokes about them matters. And that understanding right there that he's demonstrating is why he's relevant and Jerry Seinfeld is not. Because Kevin Hart is trying to master his craft when he doesn't really have to grow as a comedian because he's at the top of his game. Whereas Jerry Seinfeld peaked a long time ago and is offended because nobody's laughing at his shitty boomer jokes. But again, Jerry Seinfeld is not being canceled for telling homophobic jokes. Rather, he's interpreting people not laughing at his jokes as cancellation for homophobic jokes when nobody actually said that. He imagined that they were offended because they weren't laughing at his jokes. Like, it's plausible that he has other examples in his mind of people being mad at his jokes or offended at his jokes. And, you know, maybe it's not that he has an ax to grind. But, I mean, for someone as milk toast as Jerry Seinfeld, it just really feels like he's personally upset that the younger generation doesn't find him funny. And... I mean, there's an age gap, there's cultural differences. Maybe you're out of touch. Maybe you just have different views compared to young people. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't make you a bad comedian, but I think that it makes you a bad comedian if you're gonna say that they're the problem if they're not laughing at your jokes. No, you just don't appeal to them or you're not funny. Write better jokes, I don't know what to tell you. And to the extent that cancel culture exists, it doesn't really affect the rich and the powerful. It affects the powerless. But I mean, on the subject of people being offended, Jerry, you're the one who's kind of being a triggered snowflake yourself. You're not entitled to get laughs at every single fucking joke that you tell. And if that offends you, then I don't know. I guess maybe you're the one who should find yourself a safe space with the other washed up comedians who can't accept that their shit's just stale. And the problem isn't that people are too PC or too woke or too offended. The problem is that you just need to write better jokes and you don't want to do that. So I don't know what to tell you. Do better or shut the fuck up. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Woke ide